Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. In the previous tutorial we discussed about the bubble sort algorithm as well as we learned how to sort the group of numbers using bubble sort algorithm. And in this tutorial we are writing the bubble sort program. So before writing the program first we will see the algorithm. Okay. So first we are writing the program for ascending order. So this is the algorithm for that. First step is starting with the first element, compare the current element with the next element of the list. If the current element is greater than the next element of the list, swap them. If not, then move to the next element. Repeat step one. So this is the algorithm for ascending order. And next in Python file, first I'll take list of numbers because to sort the numbers we need numbers right first so i'll take list one okay so these are the numbers of my list list name is list one there are five elements okay so next what we need to do according to the algorithm first i need to compare the first element and the second element so 10 and 15 if 10 is greater than 15 we need to swap so that's nothing but so this is the same numbers which we took in the previous tutorial as well as in the program according to the algorithm first we need to take 10 and 15 and we need to compare whether 10 is greater than 15 if yes then swap no then do nothing okay so next I need to take 15 and 4. I need to check whether 15 is greater than 4. If yes, then swap. That's why in the next line we can see 4 and 15 are swapped. So in the same way I need to compare all the values. So here we are doing one thing same. That is comparing the values. We are comparing these different values again and again. First 10 and 15. Next 15 and 4. Next 15 and 23 here 15 and 23 next 23 and 0 so we want to compare list of numbers again and again so for that in my program i'll take a for loop in the program if i want to execute same code again and again for different values then we will use loops so here i want to compare the different values again and again so i'll use loop Okay, I'll take for loop. So here I need to mention how many times this for loop need to be executed. So, so this is the example where five elements are there. In that case, we want to compare the values four times. That is initially we will compare 10 and 15 that is one. Next we'll compare 15 and 4 that is count 2. Next we'll compare 15 and 23 so that is 3 and next we'll compare 23 and 0. So when the number of element is 5 we need to compare 4 times. Okay that is nothing but 5 minus 1 times. So here we can write like this 0 to length of list 1 minus 1. Why length of list 1 minus 1? Because here length of list 1 is 5. Here there are 5 elements are there. So length of list 1 is 5 minus 1. That means 4. Right. So when 5 element is there, we want to compare it 4 times. Right. Maximum we want to compare it 4 times. That's why 0 to length of list 1 minus 1. Okay. Next here, what we need to do? We need to compare the values. So to compare the values, we need to write the condition. So for that, I'll use conditional statement that is if condition. Okay. So here I'll write the condition like this. So my condition is I'll check whether list one of i is greater than list one of i plus one. So that is nothing but We'll check right whether 10 is greater than 15 or 15 is greater than 4 or 15 is greater than 23, right? So in that case, 
for i in range length of list 1 minus 1 okay range is 0 to length of list 1 minus 1 so it is nothing but here in this case length of list 1 is 5 so so range will become 0 to 5 minus 1 so it will give output as 0 1 2 3 so initially i value becomes 0 okay so when i value becomes 0 so if this is the list then its index is 0 1 2 3 4 okay so when i value becomes 0 it will compare list 1 of i that is nothing but list 1 of 0 and list 1 of i plus 1 that is nothing but 15 so it will compare whether 10 is greater than 15 okay so in this condition we wrote okay list 1 of i is greater than list 1 of i plus 1 so initially i will be 0 so list 1 of 0 that is nothing but first value and list 1 of i plus 1 means list 1 of 1 that means the second value so it will compare 10 and 15 after that i will be incremented so i become 1 so it will compare 15 and 4 when i becomes 2 it will compare 15 and 23 when i becomes 3 it will compare 23 and 0 okay after comparison if it is true the first element is greater than the second element then what to do we need to swap so to swap the numbers we can use different methods here i'll use this so here swap list one of i and list one of i plus one okay so here so first we'll see 10 is greater than 50 no it is not so we won't swap that's why here we can see 10 and 15 are in the same place next it will compare 15 and 4 15 is greater than 4 yes it is that's why in the second we can see 4 and 15 are swapped here right so in this way this for loop and uh, this if condition works i won't take else part now okay so i'll print this is the sorted list in the ascending order okay so we'll do one thing we'll print unsorted list also okay so now i'll save this and run this so we'll get like this we are not getting the sorted list here but this is the result after the first iteration okay so we'll get after the first iteration we'll get the biggest value at the last position here 23 is the largest value so it is present at last okay so this is the result after the first iteration i will show you uh, here we can say 10 4 15 0 23 this is the result of the first iteration so here uh, this is the first iteration this is the second this is the third and this is the fourth iteration so in the bubble sort we won't get the output in the first iteration itself we need to do many iteration we need to do many pass okay so so in the second iteration also we will do the same thing that is we will check 4 and 10 whether 4 is greater than 10 if it is then we will swap otherwise we will move on to the next element okay so we are doing this same thing again and again okay so for this what i'll do is i'll take another for loop okay and i will place this in the another for loop so first we'll cut this and here i'll take another for loop i need to mention how many times this for loop need to be executed that will take later first we'll copy the content okay so this is the for loop all right so now i need to tell how many times this for loop and if condition need to be executed so for that okay so here we can see this example contains five elements okay so here this is the first iteration this is the second this is the third and this is the fourth iteration so so to sort five elements we need four iteration that is nothing but 5 minus 1 iteration right so here what is 5 this is the length of list 
right so i can take this as length of list 1 minus 1 right so here length of 1 minus 1 okay so now we'll execute this it will print unsorted list and sorted list here we can see 0 4 10 15 23 values are in ascending order so next if you want descending order then you need to change the sign here okay so because in the previous tutorial i explained you the algorithm for descending order also in that if the first element is less than the second element we need to swap that's why we need to change the symbol here so here we can see output in descending order okay so now i will change the sign because i'll stick to the ascending order next in the output we can see we are printing the unsorted list and sorted list that is final result if i want to print all these steps okay then how to do that so for that we can take a print function here but even this won't print all the steps because this if condition satisfies only when we need to swap so this will print only those steps where number will swap here we can see only six steps we can see but in the example we can see 10 steps okay so for that to print all the steps here we need to take else part also if else okay here also i'll print list one so if you swap or not i want to print values of list one so it will print all these steps okay there are 16 steps if you want to see every iteration then i'll take a print here so this is for new line after each iteration it will print a new line there will be a space so you can differentiate better here we can see so this is the first iteration second third fourth but here we can see in every iteration there are four steps one two three four one two three four one two three four but in this we can see first iteration four step next to three next to two next to one that is because here in our program we are comparing with the sorted part also that's nothing but after the first iteration we'll get sorted part and unsorted part like this 23 is sorted part and this is unsorted part okay so in this case there is no need of comparing 15 and 20, 23 here because we already know 23 is the largest value and it is sorted so no need of checking 15 and 23 but in our program it is checking that that's why we are getting these many steps if you don't want that then here you can use a condition that is in this for loop minus j here you need to take minus j when j value is 0 that is in the first iteration it will give 4 step when j value become 1 so j value become 1 for the second iteration it will give length of list 1 that is 5 5 minus 1 4 4 minus 1 3 so 3 iteration here we can see next 4 2 next 1 okay so if we run this here we can see right okay so next so we can write the bubble sort program in different way so there is an another method if you are getting confused about this okay so then you can use that method that is nothing but here in the outer for loop we need to take this as the first value and here i need to take 0 and minus 1 and here in the inner for loop you can take just j okay so now if i execute this here we can see it will give proper output 0 4 10 15 23 okay so everything is same so this is the another method and next so here we took the list directly but if you want to take user input if you want to enter the inputs then for that first i need to take empty list we can do this in many ways okay so next
so i'll take a variable called num and first i'll ask the user how many numbers he want to enter okay so for that i took input function and this is the message and we are converting the input to int and this is the variable which will store the result okay so next i'll take for loop till num because we want num numbers of values in our list here uh, list one dot append int input okay so before that we'll include a message like enter the values for follow just to print that okay all right so here we are appending the entered input int input will take the input from the user integer input from the user and it will be appended to the list one so we'll run this so how many number you want to enter to the list okay so if i want to enter five enter values i'll can enter zero eight minus four sixty seven zero okay here it will give the output okay so if you don't want to print all this you can remove this it will give only final result okay so sorted list okay in the ascending order okay so this is all about the bubble sort program thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care